All right, so if it isn't obvious from the poster in the background already, I'm pretty much like a Frank Ocean stan. Got the vinyl, got the magazines, I got the CDs, I got the blonde 100% off shirt. I have like a lot of Frank Ocean stuff. Frank Ocean has and continues to be my favorite artist of all time. Like the guy's a legend. I remember when Endless was coming out and the you know, the subreddit was just going crazy. Like that was the most excited I've been for something in like a while. It was, it was insane because it, four years, we were waiting four years for Boys Don't Cry to come out. And then we got Endless and then we got Blonde and it was just like three months of anticipation. It was insane. But today I'm gonna be talking about some uh, top 10 underrated Frank Ocean songs in my opinion. This is subjective. You may have heard these songs. You may have not heard these songs. I'm just here to give you my take on them and that you should check it up, check them out. So here's 10 songs released throughout Frank Ocean's career that I feel have been neglected and not appreciated fully. A lot like Middle Children, except in this case, there's like 10. Shout out Middle Children <clears throat> in no particular order. So, you know, I'll provide the YouTube links in the description below if available or Vimeo links because some of them are off the Lonnie Bro album and also Endless too. I'll provide that link if it's still available. You know, I really suggest you check out Endless if you haven't. It's a great album. But let's start off with the first track, uh, No Love. So pre-channel Orange, someone unofficially released over 40 of Frank Ocean's demo tracks on the mixtape titled Lonnie Bro with Frank trying to find his voice by putting a semi-new spin on mid-2000s R&B sound. Some songs were a little cheesy, but there were a few standouts like No Love where he makes an R&B jam that I feel could have been a hit if released at like the right time uh, in his career. But obviously now we know that's not really the direction Frank was heading in. He was more progressive, experimental, and a pioneer. And we'll just we'll just play the song for the hell of it because it's such a good song. So the next song we're going to be talking about is Wise Man. So originally meant to be featured on the Django Unchained soundtrack, Wise Man features Frank Ocean flexing his new and improved songwriting skills post Channel Orange. Don't get me wrong, he's a great songwriter through and through even then, but like I feel this song in particular just kind of like he flexes that muscle a little bit more. But in Wise Man, Frank croons his existential thoughts about how he believes none of us exist on purpose. Placing descriptors on someone based on their morality, race, etc. mean nothing because in the end, we're all fundamentally the same. We all live, we all die. Damn, that was heavy. I bet our mother would be proud of you is one of my favorite lines, mainly just the way he sings it, the execution, and just kind of like the meaning in the song. Like, open up Genius, check, check it out. Uh, I could probably make like a whole video just talking about it. But let's listen to Wise Man. Bad men don't exist, no, no, evil men exist. Good men don't exist, no, no, righteous men exist. We're proud of you. Thrive and thrive in the jungle. Maybe hearts were made Every time. Alright, so the next song is Miss You So. It's another standout off of the Lonnie Bro mixtape. Frank laments over a past lover who he used to take endless pictures of. Uh, I'm a sucker for Miss You So because I can relate to the, senti to the sentiment expressed throughout the song of how we try to like keep memories of someone special in our past and attempts to never forget them. Plus Frank hits like a killer high note that's like reminiscent of Prince's like signature screams and wails. Uh, a nice homage to like his all time favorite artist. One of my favorite lyrics from the song is how am I supposed to remember I got the memories but memories fade baby. But yeah, let's listen to Miss You So. Here we go. Alright, 
right, so next track, White Ferrari. Probably not underrated, but I feel it's definitely underappreciated. I hear some people mention that Blonde is pretty like top heavy uh, since the first half has like a lot of amazing tracks. However, if you stick around post nights and at really listen to like White Ferrari, you'll experience the slow build up to like this choirs of Frank singing, uh, eventually closing out with these soft croons of just this a soul Frank Ocean. It's a fantastic song. I love this song. It's so good. I play it whenever I'm driving at night. Uh, I have a white Volvo. So I call whenever I just call my white Volvo, the white Volvo, white Ferrari, <laughs> blame. Anywho, so my favorite lyric is, you dream of walls that hold us in prison. It's just a skull, at least that's what they call it. And we're free to roam. Let's listen to white Ferrari. So next song, Songs for Women. If you haven't listened to Nostalgia Ultra, listen to this song. Frank sings about how he used to use his golden voice to get at women when he was younger. Uh, the one thing about this song that always has me coming back is the change in vocal inflection as the song progresses and how it serves as a place marker as to where he was in his life. Uh, for example, the first verse is sung in a deeper voice because he refers to the past back to when he was younger and he was trying to act smooth to impress this girl. Once we get to the second verse, his voice is lighter. He's older, wiser, and has no need to feign bravado to get at women anymore. One of my favorite lines is where he's describing a situation where he's hanging out with a girl at his place, uh, looking through my whole vinyl collection, and you could teach me how to slow dance or something, and I'm gonna give you chills harmonizing to Otis, Isley, Marvin. Songs for Women is a great song, my one of my favorites off in Nostalgia Ultra, so let's listen to it. Go to my house after school, after school, after school, cause my dad don't talk off to late, off to late. Cause I report, but she be banging that Drake in my car. Slide On Me. Uh, Slide On Me is a track off of Endless. Uh, here, Frank bitterly sings about a tumultuous relationship and how his lover slides into his life out of convenience, a uh, feeling some of us know all too well. Uh, besides being relatable, Slide On Me has one of the best instrumentals on Endless, period. Poignant finger picking, a soft like trap beat, a tasteful amount of like low booming synths, and Frank's singing slash rapping just make this track one of the best songs off of Endless. One of my favorite lines that off of Endless and off of this song is just, I'm still working while your dream pop. Yeah, let's listen to the song real quick. All right, the next song, another track off of the Endless album, Rushes. Uh, this song is amazing. I interpreted it this way. Frank's talking about the ups and downs of relationships and how he loves the rush one gets when they fall in love. The lyrics elaborate further upon this theme, but I want to talk about the buildup to the climax of this song. In my opinion, as the song proceeds, it mimics the feeling someone gets when they start to fall in love. For example, in the beginning of the song, it starts mellow and slow with just Frank singing. Then it builds to the rush, uh, those feelings you get when you fall hard for someone, which is represented by the climax of the song where Jasmine Sullivan's backing vocals come in, uh, the guitar gets louder, 
Frank's voice gets louder and more passionate. And then finally, after some time, those feelings fade. And the way this song ends, I feel, supports my interpretation even further, that love is fleeting. One of my favorite lines from this song is, I ain't felt this way in years. Great song. So let's listen to Rushes. Here we go. Teeth on the sheets and pairs. The water's deep enough. Keep pushing on. Never let him stop. How happy is it being? How happy is it being? Alright, so let's move on to the next song, and I'm going to be talking about Monks off of Channel Orange. Um, I feel like a lot of people, for some reason, just haven't heard this song. Like, you know, Frank Ocean, like huge Frank Ocean fans, of course, you know, you listen to Channel Orange front to back, no problem. But uh, other people in particular, I feel like they missed out on this song. I feel like it's another track with a spectacular instrumental. Uh, Frank talks about getting used to his newfound fame and how all these women are out here looking for a chance to get with him. Uh, the drums and bass line add so much to the song, and the synths in the latter half of the song serve as a nice break from the drums in the first half. Honestly, I can't tell if I'm listening for Frank or the instrumental, because both of them are fantastic. Probably Frank, though. <laughs> so, one of my favorite lines is, show me your passport, she's on her own tour. So let's listen to Monks. Much peace in their chest Stage diver, sky diver Spread a crowd of no one Likes to fuck boys and pants Likes to watch westerns And ride me without the hands Show me her passport Ooh. Wave them high, girl To the sky I don't ask for much But please keep us alive We've got no choices left Alright, so next song, another song off of Endless, and this one is called Wither. It's just a beautiful, emotional, and tender song from Frank. I think songs like Wither, where it's just Frank and his piano, result in some of his best work since they're so reliant on his vocal performance being like top notch, and his songwriting skills as well. Wither is an elegant song that uses a variety of garden metaphors to describe Frank's desire to live a long and full life and to hopefully be a part of his future children's life long enough for them to see the, him wither. One of my all-time favorite Frank lines is from this song. Hope they'll get to see my color, know that I've enjoyed sunshine. Pray they'll get to see me, me wither. See me wither, know that I've enjoyed the sunshine. Great line. Um, but yeah, let's listen to Wither. final song again these songs aren't in any particular order but this is just the last song of like underrated tracks that i think frank ocean has um voodoo aka end from channel orange one of the many frank ocean songs that i wish was a bit longer it's a sexy song with slow booming drum beats uh, accompanied by synths that sound like they're from like another planet and a mellow guitar melody um I always find myself singing along, swaying my body to the beat, and snapping to the outro of the song. Hands down, I feel like it's one of the most underrated Frank Ocean songs, period. Let's listen to the final song, Voodoo. Looks like all we've got is each other. The truth is absolute. Got the whole wild world in his So those were some unrated Frank Ocean songs I thought you should check out. It's Frank Ocean. All of his songs are great. It's hard to choose what songs to put on here. I feel like if I if I could, I would have also added White, the one featuring John Mayer. Like I re I love the line off of that song where I forget 23. I forget 23 like I forget 17. I forget my first love like you forget a daydream. That um, there's Frank has so many quotable lyrics. It's 
it's overwhelming. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out some of those songs. I love Frank Ocean to death. It would be awesome if you guys wanted to talk about it in the comments or you guys wanted to share some songs with me that you think I should check out, re-listen to, etc. I've heard pretty much everything, like even Frank features. But yeah, just go ahead, share them in the comments. I'm more than happy to talk about Frank. I might even make another video about Frank. We'll see. There haven't been any new albums out for me to review that I want to review. Um, but I know there's one coming up this Friday, ASAP Rocky's testing album. Frank Ocean is going to be featured on that, so I'm pretty pumped. Um, but yeah, again, thanks for watching this video. Um, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And check out the description for shortcuts. If you skip to the end for some reason, just check out the description. I'm going to be putting shortcuts to certain songs for all the videos, for reviews, top tens, etc. Just so people can see what they want to see. But yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys.